Really? For real, for real now? Is this what we're doing in 2022? No, do not do that. Never know. Bet you never know. okay welcome back to another video it's another beautiful beautiful day my people my name is Irene and ride with me or stay with me please do not forget to like subscribe and share this video with other people your friends your sister your girlfriend your ex anyone okay and yeah so today i'm going to go on to part b another part on the skincare tips so this is about do and do not do not one do not two so number one do not buy products from hearing okay do not buy products from hearing you just heard somebody say they use this and you are running to buy that no sis that is wrong honey it is wrong do not buy products just because someone you know said they use one this is why when people ask uh, tell me um what do you use uh, what can i use for my skin first of all we have different skin types okay and uh, especially if you have skin problems you know some people they have to see specialists for their skins you know you have to know why something is happening to your skin probably it's the weather because that affects your skin type maybe it's the hormones you know maybe it's diet or medication so you have to know you just don't run and buy products on top of that what works for me definitely might not work for you what works for a sister might not work for you okay it um skins or uh, skincare skin issues come with a lot so number one do not buy products from hearing especially when you have skin problems okay okay do not depend on products alone do not depend on products only for your skin people think if i'm going to use this or if i'm going to apply that my skin is going to be fine honey who said that <laughs> just it is a lie okay do not depend on products alone because it's just 20 percent to your skin did you hear that right only 20 percent for a better skin the products plays 20% role to your skin so I, I like I said on the other video you have to care about what you eat what you drink cleanness and all that all these other factors play a role than what you're going to apply okay so do not depend on what you use alone do not compare yourself with others do not compare yourself to your friend uh, with your friends do not compare yourself with me do not compare yourself i cannot compare myself with you okay because as i said we are different and that as has i mean that has costed people Compa comparison comparing and also you just saw someone on the internet and you want their skin really guys It doesn't work like that it definitely doesn't work like that it doesn't it won't it shouldn't to why you should not compare yourself okay we have factors like age we have factors like time people have used the product yeah sometimes you say I am using the same product as you are using why am I not looking like you why don't i feel like you come on you just started and someone has been using this product maybe for five years for three years 
one month and you want to compare really for real for real now is this what we're doing in 2022 no do not do that okay do not compare yourself with others okay and some people's skin react real fast real quick and they're gonna be okay so don't it's only it's only going to discourage you which is not going to encourage you you're going to abandon your skincare you're going to abandon your products okay because you did the comparison okay that's a thief it's a thief of joy do not follow trends do not follow trends because um you know uh i don't want to mention brands but we know the big brands we know the trends we know maybe in your country or your city or at your workplace or in your circle someone is using something and another one is going to use that it's now a trend or every time you see an ad it's this particular product and you want to follow that trend no do not do that do not follow trends first of all they're just for marketing purposes and then when it's a trend everyone is trying to make something like that let's say there's one uh, there was one famous um a lotion of products snail anyway taking for example snail uh i think there was a lotion and um scrap scrap i think uh, lotion serum and socks not follow trends because you're going to meet a lot of fakes copies especially where i live this place they can manufacture everything and i mean everything so do not follow trends do not okay do not use expired products yes we know that was expensive we know you spent the fortune we know you just bought it yes we are sorry you didn't check on the expire date but do not use expired products this goes to hair products and skin products because the hair products have effects on your skin make sure to check the products and also if it's written december is the end sis put that thing aside do not go on to use that it's going to cost you more than how you bought more than the money you pay for it it is going to cost you so do not use expired products okay loves do not use unapproved products stop using diy do it yourself do it yourself who said okay i am not against any diy i'm not against that and i i personally have used that before though i have stopped i did that especially on your face especially to your face do not use an approved product make sure this product are certified approved or someone uh, i mean a specialist or a doctor recommended this to you do not use i mean do not use an approved product it is bad because if uh, let's say about diy how do you know this is the right amount okay someone said use baking soda use lemon which is bad to your skin uh, use a toothpaste some people use toothpaste on on their faces amazing but how do you know this is the right amount this is why you should not use do it yourself products you should not okay you have a friend good it's it's a hustling it's a good thing they are making their own products they are cooking products at home for the skin do not do that you do not know the right amount of what they put in there unless they are certified unless it is approved you know in my country we have something tbs so we say kama hajia tibitishwa do not use okay i had to go in in my language jamani msitumie product hazi ya thibitishwa okay mkorogo stay away from mkorogo guys it is bad do not use products you haven't checked ingredients expired date 
and whether it's good for you. You must know the ingredients. You have to know because other products are every I came to learn that every skin type or um yeah basically every skin type some manufacturers they make for all skin types some do not maybe it's this uh whatever you're doing is just for oil skin people and your skin is just dry maybe they say this is for um for people above 40 uh 40 years old and you're just 20 and you're going to use the product you have to read and know the ingredients whether it's for your skin type you have to know another one is do not use medication or me products that were special for medic for medication purposes as your skin product i know they work perfectly i remember when i was in secondary school i used someone else's product that's why i say do not use what everyone is using I used my friend's scrub child I messed up my face I got pimples so when I went back because I was in boarding school when I went back home my parents were suffering for me because they could see I was young so I didn't like what was happening to my skin so they had to help me out we had to go here and there you my mother would bring everything then my dad came home with Peso. I don't know if it's called peso or anything. I think you know that I'm going to put a picture of it and uh, Products like Sonadem when you use them they work or sometimes you go to a skin doctor and they give you this Medication they give you this product to use maybe they say use this for one month sis since that your face or your skin is glowing you are shining no pimples no problem you go on with that that is wrong that was just meant as a medicine it was just meant for a short period of time it was just meant for a certain thing do not go on and use that do not go to pharmacies and take something like sonadem and use that on your face it is wrong that product is not a skincare product it is a skin medication product okay and i think that is all mm, i think i've said it all so thank you so much for tuning in again if you are not a subscriber yet please you do not like me come on i'm going to improve subscribe to my channel um like if you think this was if you learned a thing or two please do not forget to comment subscribe share and uh, yeah tell me what you think and i'll see you on the next video thank you so much my name is irene and i goodbye